Well, here we are then, guys. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, VW camper van there. Right, bright little thing. Seems to run quite nicely. Sounds well, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> vendor feels that the mileage could well be right. And he could well be right. Judging by the pedals and the general wear and tear in the cab, he could be right, steering wheel and so forth. But I, I don't know. And you know where I'll take on a mileage is, so you've just got to take that at sort of face value, really. But again, as I just finished doing one and I've said, it's not perfect, but it's good and it's not perfect, but it's a good one. And it's a, certainly a very good base to take to the next level, should you wish. Smart and tidy inside the cab. It's a seat cover there. I've just tucked back out of the way. Just there was a seat cover on just to keep them looking tidy. Obviously, the step areas on both sides have had a bit of repair. They all have at this stage, haven't they? Door cards and things. Oh, that looks nice and smart. A bit tricky to do with one hand. Only the basics are basics in here. So just a. Um, I haven't tried anything, guys. So. You know, I haven't got time, and so just assume you're going to have to get it serviced up. Obviously, there's a little bit of a heater there. Looks quite an old one. There's a sink and a gas hob there, which is nice. They are a little sink and what looks like a water bottle there. It's just a basic overnighter, really, isn't it? Rock and roll bed down here, so that's obviously going to get two of you. And then you've got upstairs. Oh, there's a big awning as well. The vendor was going to send me a photograph, hopefully he has, with a big awning that goes on the side and sort of doubles the size of the whole thing. So if you wish, you've got rock and roll down there and I assume you're going to, you can make yourself another bed up here where I'm stood. That's certainly the way I've seen it with different ones. Bit of storage up there. Another tent bag of some description up there. Oh, it looks like some windscreen, those reflective windscreen um, window covers up there. Go on the front. But it's an ideal day van, overnighter. Yeah, call it what you want. There's a hinge there, so I assume this is gonna come undone. Oh yeah, oh, there's no more. Oh, there's your battery. Some battery and kettle and a few bits and pieces in there. here just now what have we got in there oh just a water bottle in there all the looks of things yeah mm, you could probably arguably say you couldn't fit yourself a better water bottle in there but anyway it's there i'll just stand back so you can have a look inside now it's a little bit tricky with one hand but i will try so wedge that one up there take that off of there which is on a little magnet and then in here You've got the thing that makes all the noise. There you go. Some new pipes, some new fuel filter pump there. It certainly sounds real sweet in there. It's a bit heavy to hold up with one hand. Right, that's that. That's that. Oh, tow bar as well. I missed that. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? Put your mountain bike rack on or whatever it might be. The exhaust doesn't look very old either. So, we'll shut this one up. I'll shut up the uh, driver's door around here. Then I'll take you on a little tour of the outside. Just so you can see basically what we've got. It's a bit bright today down here. In fact, say today it's five o'clock, but there you are. There she is. I've taken 60 odd photographs for you. I think I've done about as much as I possibly can. The next step is come down and have a look. Now in the world of motorhomes, this is well and truly regarded by me and probably everybody else on the planet as being entry level. Entry level, very, very sensibly guided and priced. Let's face it, you can put a hundred thousand pound 
I think 30, 40,000 pounds, sort of 10 times more of this guide is the norm for a little camper van, isn't it? It's crazy. So just bear that in mind, guys. You know, it's not a Winnebago with a hot tub and a jacuzzi and all the rest of it. It's a little basic VW with room for improvement.